Hey y'all, this is Constance with Butterfly Mom Creations and More. And guess what? I'm doing something different today. I have a different kind of haul. I'm doing a Goodwill haul. Yes, Goodwill haul. I'll go to the Goodwill every so often. And I have never thought about doing a Goodwill haul until just recently. I scored big time. So, I actually have a couple bags from a previous time that I went to the Goodwill and I, that I haven't even unpacked yet because I've had so much going on. But, when I went this last time, I scored huge. So then I was like, I should do a Goodwill haul. So, I decided to combine all my stuff. So, Let's jump on in, because I'm kind of excited to show you the things that I found, and so I can start using them. So, let's start off with the bags behind me, because those are my, the past, um, my past visit to the Goodwill store, um, that was a while back, okay? It's, and it's not much. So, the first time I went to the Goodwill, about like a month ago, I found this uh, candle thing. I'm, <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the scroll on this thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. I paid $1.59 for this. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't even know if I want to change the color of it. But if I do, I can I can spray paint it. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And what I like about it is, is it doesn't have the little spikes on it that you have to like um, spike a candle so that it doesn't move. So I can actually put um, battery operated candles sitting on this if I want to. Um, or And I don't have to like break the little spikes off of this. So I absolutely love this. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So I got that. Then I found this little pencil case for like 50 cents. And you know, I love cases because I'm a crafter and I need, I need storage and it snaps really good. So I got it. So that's all in that bag. I also got a um, one inch binder for 50 cent. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a three ring binder. It's by Avery. Um, it's red on the inside. Um, it's never been, it doesn't look, it's never been used. It still has like the little tags on it and stuff like that. So I paid 50 cent for it. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can use binders all the time um, for, you know, any kind of, any kind of paperwork and stuff. So I snatched that up. And then I found a Bonnie Bell caboodle. <laughs> Talk about nostalgia. Bonnie Bell caboodle. I'm not even lying. For a dollar ninety-nine. Um, it's in perfect condition. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's baby blue. It is Bonnie Bell caboodle. Can y'all believe that? And look, the well, the only thing that's missing is a mirror. But I don't care because I'm not going to use it for makeup. I'm going to use it for my crafting stash. So, this is amazing. And I said, when I seen this, I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> this takes me way back. <laughs> So I thought this was a great, a, a great find right here at the Goodwill.
Then I found this, and it was from Target, and I paid 99 cent for it. And it says that it is a wood, it's wood veneer, and it is a poster hanger. It uh, includes four planks. It includes four planks and four metal clips. Create your own art display. Never been opened, still wrapped in plastic. And this is what it looks like. And I thought this was an incredible find because if you look at the picture right here, they have artwork hanging in the middle of these planks. So, yeah, and these clips have screws on the backs of them, so I assume you can unscrew these and move these to wherever you wanted to, if you want to, and I thought about, like, taking, like, a really pretty canvas from the Dollar Tree and cutting it out of, uh, the, out of the frame and actually hanging it in the middle of one of these, because I thought that would be really, really unique and really pretty, so that's why I got this, but what it looks like and I paid 99 cent for it and it was three dollars in the Target bullpen I think that's what they call it for a Target so um, yeah got that then also from Target they had the little five dollar bin little um, these the little five dollar things um i did pay a dollar 99 for the storage um was it too much i'm not sure but i did like the canvas totes um they're brand new they were very they're very clean um they've never been used they're still attached to each other um they were originally five dollars so, I mean, I'm going to use them for storage in my craft room. So, anyway, I, I thought it was a good deal. So, I picked those up. And then, they, had a, they have a card bucket or a card, um, a card bucket. Uh, basin tub a card tub and they have sing they have their card like just cards in there and I can't I th can't remember I think the cards are like 10 cent a piece um, yes they're 10 cent a piece so I'm gonna show you the cards I picked up I picked up this card right here. This is a uh, birthday greetings. These are really pretty. Um, it has a picture on the back and it comes with its own envelope. And some of these, this is why I got them because they're absolutely gorgeous. So, this one was, it's your birthday, let's eat cake. And it's got foil on it nice it has a picture on the back I think some of these were like um, supposed to go together and like I think they were meant to be they may have came together in a holo like a holiday box or something um, happy birthday wishes So, I'm going to be stocked up on birthday cards. Let's just put it that way. I mean, these are absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is birthday wishes. And this was the card. I mean, the uh, envelope that goes to it. Um, This one says, on your birthday, and it's got a hummingbird. Look at all the foil on that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then that's the envelope to it. I know this is taking up time showing you this. 
I found a postcard for South Carolina and I loved it so I grabbed it this is happy birthday look at this is that not gorgeous it's got a picture on the back and um, I just grabbed a white envelope for it um, this one says thinking of you and it looks like watercolor I just grabbed a white envelope for it I knew this was gonna take a little time going through the envelope going through the um, card stash but I just really wanted to show you check your card section check to see if your goodwill has a card section because you can't beat 10 cent for a card and I'm not sure like if they're all that way but um, that I mean that's pretty amazing you know what I mean so then the last few cards I got are are exactly the same I got a set of one two three four four sets of this card I thought this was pretty cool to give to a guy um, it is blank I think yeah it's blank on the inside it's a it's a tie um, you could give it as a birthday card a thinking of you card um, graduation card um, a Father's Day card um, anything for a guy um, and I thought, and so they, I, had, I seen four of them, so I grabbed all four. Um, and the envelope is like this. And they're super thick. So I grabbed all four of those. So yeah, check your card section um, and see if they have cards at your Goodwill. Um, because they probably sell them at your Goodwill for like an amazing price. Okay, so I got some clothes, and I have been wearing them in my last few videos. Today, I'm wearing this shirt right here. Um, I got from the Goodwill. Um, it has this little button tassel. Um, it buttons down the front, and it's got like a V right here. It's like a tunic in the back. It's really, really nice and really pretty, and it's silky. It had the tag still on it for $44. Um, I don't remember the brand, but I only paid $4.25 for it, so I was super stoked about that. I got this yellow pocketbook. I'm so excited about this pocketbook. Oh my God. Nothing is wrong with it. Um, has silver buckle on it. I paid five bucks for it and I am super stoked about it. It's got stuffing in it. That's, it's got paper stuffing in it so that's why it's pooched out but yeah I'm super stoked about the yellow pocketbook. I got this uh, white tunic um, long sleeve for the winter. It's really nice, really flowy. It's longer on the sides. I don't know if you can see it, I'm trying. Um, I got this to wear under some of the dusters that uh, Ginger Sadie Crafts sent me from, uh, that were Lou LaRue, Lou, Lou LaRue um, dusters that she had sent me. Um, some are short sleeve, so I figured I could wear that was a moth that just flew across my video camera. <laughs> it's never a dull moment here. Butterfly mom creations and more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So I figured um, this would be nice to wear under some of the dusters. And I could still wear those short sleeve dusters during the winter time. So I picked that up. And this was $4.25 also. I wore this in a video, and this is absolutely gorgeous. It still had its tags on it, and it was, um, I can't, 
can't remember what the price was, but it was very expensive. Um, it is by Liquid something, and it's I can't I can't see it. Liquid. And it must have collabed with someone. Liquid, because Liquid's a brand, and then underneath it's another brand. So it must have been a collab. But it's got um, jewels all around the neckline. It goes all the way down the sleeve, and then around the cuff and then around the um, bottom half it's super nice it's super comfy and the sleeves are like this wide I absolutely love it and that's why it makes it not so hot because the sleeves are so wide but this is it right here And I absolutely love it. And I paid $4.25 for it. And it still had tags on it. I bought this shirt by Kristen Nicole. Um, it has these beautiful mustard yellow flowers and these rust colored rose rose and um rust color flowers on it I'm holding this up and i can't even see if i'm getting in frame but anyway it's a v-neck it scoops at the bottom and the back and it rouges on the sides right here um and it does cover the bum area and it's so pretty um nothing wrong with it paid 4.25 for it i wore that in the video too then by time and true which is walmart i got this i haven't wore this yet but it it it's a tunic it covers in the back um it has three buttons in the front and it's long sleeve so i was trying to look like for stuff for like winter time it's got slits on the side um it's navy blue with white pinstripes it was $4.25 also. And then I found a jean jacket for my youngest daughter um, for $4.25. And I've already washed all of this and the jean jacket is kind of stiff. Um, but it's super cute. So it's got these cute little pockets. And um, it's got these pockets right here. Um, long sleeves. And that's the back so I picked that up for her so that's the clothes and the pocketbook that I got now that I've cleaned my table off you can see my candle lit people seem to have liked my candle being lit the other day <laughs> And I do too. It gives off some kind of like, I don't know, ambience or ambiance. I don't know what, how people say that. I guess is how they say it. Um, what I was showing, telling y'all about the other day about um, trinket trays. I made this out of the Dollar Tree trinket tray, the rose one, and a candlestick. It's not absolutely gorgeous. I know this is off topic, but. I made that and I have like a sage smudger stick and it smells so good and I use that to like display it and that's what I was talking about I'm just obsessed with like trinket trays right now and like gluing gluing them to candlesticks right now so I'm on the hunt for like any kind of pretty trinket tray so that's why I've been going to thrift stores and stuff so anyway moving along so I found this kid cake stand. I know this sounds crazy, but when I seen it, I just knew I could do something with it. And it comes apart. I paid 89 cent for it. Um, yeah, okay. So it comes apart. You can spray paint it. Plastic spray paints very well. So I figured I could spray paint this a color and spray paint this a color and I could have like a little stand 
if I, you know, in my craft room for whatever I want it to be. Um, so I picked that up. And I picked up this little glass jar. Probably paid too much for it, but I loved it. Um, paid a dollar for it. Um, it's clear on the top, clear around the sides. Um, I figured I can put stuff in it from my craft room, so I picked that up. I had so much fun because I went two different times. So this is like three trips to the Goodwill. So I bought this um, basket for 89 cent. It's so farmhouse looking. And it has like a little wooden, I mean a little metal handle. So I got it for 89 cent. I got some washi tape for 89 cent. It has Christmas trees on it. And they're glitter Christmas trees. So I'm excited about using that. And then I found these little wooden pieces for 89 cent a piece. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Um, they look like this. They have a barcode on them. Um, so they look like this, but if you stick them together, if you would glue them together, they make a perfect, and you, if you, I'm sure if you would glue them together and clamp them so that they're super tight together, they're basically almost seamless. So you could probably sit it down and then glue something on top. And that's probably where a trinket tray would come in place. <laughs> so I bought those to fiddle with and see what I can make out of those. What else is in here? Oh, I found these little signs. I bought them for um, 94 cent a piece. Get your green on. Um, I got two of these so that I could redo the wood. I know you're hearing a bunch of noise because I've got some heavy stuff down here when I get towards the end. Okay, I have another basket, but I'm gonna have to pull stuff out. So I found a cutting board for $1.89, and I just love, love, love this. Um, it's super pretty, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this yet, um, but something's gonna be in the making. I found this um, this is us with a clip and it has like the um, carved in uh, lines in it um, and it has a plaque hanger plus it has a stand on the back um, I'm gonna redo this but keep the little this screws off so um, I can screw this off paint this and redo it put I can put scrapbook paper on it I can do whatever I want to with it and screw this back on um, but I'm going to redo this. I found a beautiful gold frame that's perfectly square. Oh, I paid um, $0.89 cent for this. Um, I paid $1.94 for this golden frame. It's really thick. It's really nice. Um, so pick that up. And then I got this two-pack of frames um, for $1.89. So I got this size. And then I got this size. And then I got this basket for $2.89 and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, it's, it's just perfect. For storage, for aesthetically wide, aesthetically pleasing, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So I picked that up. Also, this glass vase right here, I got that from the Goodwill. That's on that I glued to the candlestick. I got it from the Goodwill for five bucks. Um, that was probably the most expensive thing I bought at the Goodwill. Um, was five dollars for that for that vase, and I really wanted that vase. <laughs> okay. So I found this basket for $1.89 and it's wicker 
and it's got leather and it's got the fuzzy stuff around it so I love this basket so I picked this up and I told y'all I make baskets for people and um, for birthdays for people that get out of the hospital for people that's just had surgery um, and I give them out and stuff so uh, for Christmas um, so I'm on the always on the hunt for baskets and stuff so this was per I'm always on the hunt for baskets so I love baskets um, they had these from the Target bull bullpen spot it's a three pack of fabric veggies and it has like um, scallions onions and another dirt root dirt veggie but they're absolutely gorgeous actually and I don't know I was fiddling with them when I was in the store and I was like three packs of these actually fit right down in this basket <laughs> and I thought it would be cute in my kitchen I don't know and so I bought all three of them so we'll put that over there all right so I found this album that looks kind of like a rug but it's never been used it's brand new I paid $1.89 for it and it's a flip up album so everything flips up and your pictures slide in sideways into here so I thought this would be perfect for my ATC cards when I get back to making them I haven't made an ATC card in a while and I miss making them so I'm gonna definitely get back on that so I bought that then I, I bought this and this was if the tag hasn't fallen off the tag has fallen off but I'm sure it was like a dollar eighty nine. Look how gorgeous this is. I can see this on that wall right there with two pink candlesticks in there. I just gotta find two pink pink candlesticks. <laughs> I mean, I don't even want to change the color of it. Um, I, th that's how much I love this thing. So I I found that. I found a K for 89 cent for my daughter. And then I found another basket for a dollar 89. Look at that basket. Is that not beautiful? It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So I bought that. All right, so I'm back. <laughs> okay, so more stuff from the Target dollar spot or bullpen spot. Um, I found these glass uh, dipped bases. Um, you get two. They're wide mouth. They were five dollars. I paid two dollars for them and I got two sets of these. So I love them. So I got those. Then they had these mercury bottles. Um, they're gold and it, they're um, different sizes like there's a square one there's like a round one in the middle and then there's this shape right here on the outside and they were two dollars and I got two sets of these so these are absolutely gorgeous I found another cutting board for a dollar not 89 I'm gonna do something with this they had some hand soap by hand in hand um, sweet mint and eucalyptus so I picked up a couple bottles of this this was from Target too so I picked up a couple bottles of that they also had from the Target dollar spot for $5, I didn't pay $5, but from, it was originally $5, 
um, I paid $2, um, these wooden risers, you get two to a pack. One is shorter than the, than the other because you can see how short the legs on this is and how tall the leg is on this one. Um, I got four packs of these because I got, I got them for crafting, I got one for a friend. Um, so the, these are nice gifts. So I got those. And then they had these wire bins for that were five dollars. I paid three dollars and here's the wire bin. And I think I got three of these. Um, and then you get the lid. And so you can put the lid on it. Which I kind of cracked the lid, actually. But anyway, you can put the lid on it and you can put something on top of it. Top of it, but it's a wire bin. So I got that. All right, guys, the last of my haul. This is it. I bought frames. So for a dollar eighty nine, I got this this wooden frame right here. Look at this. Is this not absolutely gorgeous? Look how thick it is. I'm thinking about doing a gallery wall of just these wooden frames. Um, they don't even have to have glass in them. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I got that one. I got this one for $1.89. Look at the, let's see if I can get up, the detail on the, on the wood. Absolutely gorgeous. So I picked that up and that's just slightly longer than the first one I just showed you. Then they had this one for $1.89. Look at the woodwork on that one. The intricate detail. Absolutely love it. And this one's smaller than the first two I showed you. And then my last item that I got from the Goodwill, I paid $1.89 and it's like a cabinet door. And it has a hook on the back to hang it up. But I'm definitely going to do something with it. I'm going to do something with all of this stuff, but definitely going to be doing something in the middle of this, repainting it and stuff like that and hanging this up because this is amazing. So, I would love to put a sconce or something in the middle of this and put a battery oper operated candle on it after I paint it and stuff like that, but I don't know yet. Got a lot of things going on in this brain. <laughs> But that's it, guys. That's all I have. I, I'm, that's a lot. I, a lot from your good, from my Goodwill. Check out your Goodwill, guys, um, or your thrift stores around your hometown, your small businesses. Um, you'll never know what you're going to find. Um, there's good days and there's bad days. I just happened to go on some good days um, that week um, because I went twice in the same week to two different Goodwills in two different towns. I live directly in the middle of two towns, um, and I just happen to score. Um, check them out. But that's it, guys. Thank you for for staying with me this long. Um, I really appreciate you. Um, always remember, we rise by lifting others, and um, always remember, I love you all. Bye.